hello in this lecture i will explain uh, the difference between the fans and blowers and also i will discuss different types of uh, fans and blowers and their applications fans and blowers provide air for ventilation and industrial process requirements the major difference between a fan and uh, blowers and compressor is uh, in the form of their delivery pressure and the ratio of uh, suction pressure and the delivery pressure is called the specific ratio so fans are typically used for low pressure applications and blowers are used for medium range pressure application between 1.11 to 1.20 pressure ratio and the compressors are used for high pressure applications where the pressure ratio increases from more uh, uh, is more than 1.20 and uh, in this slide i will discuss now different types of fans uh, there are two major types of fans number one is centrifugal fan in the centrifugal fan uh, air is changing direction uh, from radial to tangential and you can see in this figure the air is entering uh, air at the center and leaving the uh, fan uh, uh, tangentially whereas in the axial flow fan air does not change its direction and uh, it it it, uh, it uh, leaves it enters and leaves the axial fan in the same direction you can see in figure 5.2 that axial fan is in, in the linear direction and flow is also in the same line this table shows us the fan efficiencies and the maximum efficiency is uh, for the centrifugal fan is for the type of airfoil backward curved fan that is 79% to 83% and the maximum efficiency for axial fan is for uh, vein axial fan whose efficiency is 78% to 85% in this slide I will uh, explain the different types of centrifugal fans there are three major types number one is radial fans radial fans are used for industrial as uh, industrial workhouse because of their high static pressures and ability to handle heavily contaminated air streams because of their simple design radial fans are well suited for high temperature and medium late tip speeds so you can see that you can say that uh, radial fans are used in very tough conditions and uh, they can be operated in harsh and contaminated conditions number two is curved forward curved fans uh, used in uh, clean environments and operate at lower temperatures they are well suited for low tip speed and high airflow work and they are best suited for moving large volumes of air against relatively low pressures so uh, you can see that uh, forward curve fans are suited for more sophisticated and clean environments then the third type is backward inclined fans are more efficient than forward curve fans backward inclined fans reach their peak power consumption and then power demand drops off well within their usable airflow range so we can say that backward fans are more efficient than the forward curve fans and uh, backward 
uh, inclined fans are also known as non overloading because changing in changes in static pressure do not overload the motor then uh, i will explain uh, the types of axial flow fans there are three major types which number one is tube axial fans so you can see the tube axial fan in this figure at the left side and uh, tube axial fans have a wheel inside a cylindrical housing you can see the wheel in this cylindrical housing with close clearances uh, between the blade and housing to improve airflow efficiency there is a very close uh, clearance between this uh, fan blade and the housing and this improves the efficiency as well the wheel turns faster than propeller fans enabling operation under high pressures from 250 to 400 mm of uh, water column the efficiency is up to 65 percent the number two is the vein axial fans which are similar to tube axial but uh, with addition of guide vanes so you can see that there are uh, guide vanes the purple purpose of these guide vanes is to uh, directing and straightening the flow uh, so as a result they have a higher static pressure with less dependence on the duct specific pressure these fans are used generally for pressures up to 500 mm of water column vein axials are typically the most energy efficient fans available and should be used whenever possible number three is propeller fans you can see in the figure at the right corner uh, they are simple in geometry and uh, they can handle large volumes of air and they are mostly used in uh, exhaust and ventilation purposes and their efficiency is uh, approximately 50 percent or less now in this figure i will explain uh, different types of blowers uh, blowers are uh, also used for air uh, circulation and ventilation but uh, they have uh, medium range pressures and uh, higher pressures than the fans there are two major types of blowers one is uh, centrifugal blower which is shown in the figure at the left uh, and these arrows shows us that uh, air is entering at the center and leaving the centrifugal blower at uh, tangentially so these centrifugal uh, blowers are typically gear driven and uh, rotates as fast as 15000 rpm in multi stage blowers air is accelerated as it passes through each impeller and in the single stage blower air does not take many turns and hence it is more efficient the second type is positive displacement blowers it has rotors inside the casing you can see there are two rotors rotating and uh, when these rotors are rotating they trap air within their lobes and uh, this trap air is then pushed at the outlet at high velocity and pressure and uh, air you can see in the figure that air is uh, entering at the top and leaving the uh, blower at the bottom uh, this table uh, shows a typical application for different types of centrifugal fans and axial flow fans the radio fans are uh, uh, as I, I have already told you that they can be operated with in uh, very harsh and containing contaminated environments so uh, whereas the forward curve blades are used in HVAC systems for clean industry air uh, 
whereas backward curved uh, blade fans are used in HVAC systems and forced draft uh, application uh, like in cooling tower whereas uh, axial flow fans in which propeller type uh, fan is uh, used for large volumes of air and uh, used as uh, exhaust and ventilation purposes number two is tube axial fan is also used for hvac system drying ovens and exhaust system whereas vein axial fan is used uh, in high pressure applications including hvac systems and exhaust systems uh, so in this lecture i have explained the difference between fans blowers and compressors then the major types of fans and blowers were discussed and at the end i have uh, discussed the uh, uh, most common applications of uh, centrifugal fans and axial fans thank you very much